chat GPT is amazing. I've been using it for the last few days to help me generate the content for my third book and the results so far have been nothing less than mind blowing. Here's why. When it comes to long form content creation, chat GPT-4 is an absolute game changer. I've just been using it for the last few days. Like as at the time of this recording, ChatGPT4 is very new. And what I've found is that the content that it produces is far superior to that of, of 3.5. It's just light years ahead. But let's just roll back and let's, let's look at some pros and cons between 3.5 and 4. Now, if you're already a plus user and you've been using the 3.5 turbo mode which generates content very very fast you could get a little bit frustrated with the speed of content creation from the uh, gpt4 model okay it's a lot slower it's got a lot faster and the reason why it's got a lot faster is they've actually put prompt caps on so at the moment you can only do 25 prompts every three hours but when you look at how much content you get in, for each response, you can still easily generate a lot of content with those 25 prompts. I've only hit my prompt limit twice since I've been using it, and it hasn't been a game changer. It hasn't interfered with anything that I've been doing. If I hit the, the prompt limit, I just go off and I just start doing other things like going through and, and reading through the content or creating a book cover or something like that. So it's just managing my time around that limit. But the the benefits, okay, so the the speed of of content creation may be a little bit slower, but the quality uh, is what you get. So so that's one thing is 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 the speed and everything else. And of course it's only available on plus. So if you're on the fence about whether you should invest in chat gpt plus i'd say it's time to get off the fence if you're an author and you need to create long form content so what i'm going to do in a minute i'm going to switch over to my computer i'm just going to show you the differences like what i found so far as i said i've only been using the new model for the last couple of days two or three days because it's only been available for a short period of time so obviously i haven't uncovered all the goodies that chat gpt has to offer and also we've got to note that chat gpt4 doesn't embody all of the new features of the gpt4 model okay so the gpt4 model is capable of a lot more than what is available within chat gpt4 will those things become available who knows and i also believe that even with the release of the gpt4 model that that has like all those great features that they demonstrated haven't become available to the general public yet okay so bearing that in mind i'm just going to take you through what i have found and i said it has like, like even just scratching the surface it's a game changer it's absolutely blowing my mind so let's switch over to my computer well, I actually wanted to record this yesterday, but when I came inside and set up my computer, uh, ChatGPT was broken. We couldn't access any of the uh, of the previous chats, so it's back, sort of, because I actually wanted to do this walkthrough with you with the 3.5 and 4 model outputs side by side, so you could compare, but it's not letting me do that. So. Let's just walk through what I found firstly as far as content creation is concerned and the difference between the two models, the difference between ChatGPT 3.5 and 4. So as you can see here, we're using the 3.5 model and I've just put this very simple prompt in. I really haven't spent a lot of time, but I'd obviously go to a lot more trouble if I was actually going to write a book like this, but I do have a background in natural health and I do understand essential oils. So 
I can spot very, very quickly whether the information coming out is good or not. So that's why I'm doing this example. And I just said, so I just want to create a book, you know, essential oils on anxiety, stress, and sleep. I only want to include the best and readily available oils. And I want you to suggest some topic ideas. So it's come through and suggested some topic ideas. And then I just said here, please suggest some catchy titles because now it knows we're talking about the book. It's It's got the context. So I don't have to worry about keep on saying about this book or whatever. And so it's come up with some titles. And then I just said, I like number eight and it's gone great choice. So now it knows the books about essential oils. It knows the title. And I've just said, please create a detailed outline. And it's come through and it hasn't done a bad. I'll scroll slowly just so you can see how long it is. And I may even have to sort of zoom out just to give you some comparisons. But that is the outline that it, it produced for me. And then I've just said, expand on chapter four to include some more subsections. And it's blown out section four to bring in some bits and pieces. And overall, look, it's not bad. And I mean, I've, until until ChatGPT4 was available, this is all we had to create our outlines and that sort of stuff. So it's not a bad result. Now, I'll just see if I can actually just make zoom out a little bit, just so you can sort of see in comparison how, how much information that the 3.5 model produced. Okay, so there's the outline. It's not bad. Usually it only keeps to three three bullets per per chapter. And it's given us nine chapters plus a reference. And then when we wanted to to blow it out, it's you know, it's expanded out to to section F. So whereas before we only had three bullets, now we've got six. So not bad. Okay, not bad at all. So I'm just going to bring this back up to full size again, and we'll jump across to the chat GPT-4 example, and we'll see what the difference is here. Okay, so once again, now I've used exactly the same prompts, so nothing has changed here, but have a look at the, at the topic suggestions compared to what 3.5 gave us. This is just giving us an overall topic suggestion. So 15 sections. Come back over here and have a look at, at what this, this this is basically what 3.5 gave us. And this is this is what 4 gave us. Okay. A lot more comprehensive. Okay, then I said please suggest some catchy titles, nothing there. Obviously, it came up with different titles to the first one, so I selected a different title. I said I like number four. Okay, and I said create a, a detailed outline. And as you can see, this, this outline from the start is a lot more detailed. It's including more essential oils. There's, there's other sections in here, obviously, because now we've got 11 chapters all up instead of 10. I think it's included this frequently asked questions. Okay, so so that's so that's that. And then when I asked it to expand on a chapter, then it has done an amazing job and we've come right down to H. So now we've got eight subsections within this chapter and making it very detailed. So you can see now that using the difference between 3.5 and 4 is that it's just a lot more comprehensive. There's just a lot more detail. And all this looks really good with my with my knowledge of essential oils there's nothing out of place there okay so that was one thing i wanted to show you that this is why i'm i'm really really excited about using you know, chat gpt4 because of what we're getting the one thing to to Remember with ChatGPT4 at the moment is there is a prompt cap. So it is prompt, it is stopping you at 25 prompts every three hours. I've only hit that limit twice and it really hasn't slowed me down because as soon as I hit the limit, I'll, I'll go off and do other activities related to the book, like going through and rephrasing, editing, 
uh, getting you know, rewording things to get it past the AI detectors, doing plagiarism checks, and so so the progress is continually being made on the book, regardless of whether I've got access or not. And considering that I didn't even have access to ChatGPT for you no know, to my history for a full twenty four hours, it wasn't the end of the world. Just during that time, I started work on the other aspects of editing design co uh, designing covers and that sort of stuff the other thing i wanted to show you which is a real game changer this is the big one this one has got me really really excited it's the way that how much more information chat gpt can remember within the chat so we call this the context window now 3.5 was restricted in how much information it could remember and it and the cap was somewhere around about 3,000 words. Okay, now we, we we often complain about AI becoming very repetitive, but I think that for some of the reasons why AI gets repetitive is because it's forgotten what it's said. Because as as the, the prompts roll up and, and the responses come out, that you no, know, it's only it can only look at a at a 3,000 word window. That's not just the output. That's also including your prompts. So if you're putting in really long prompts and getting other responses and everything else, it's the total of your your prompts and ChatGPT's responses. It doesn't take long to get to three thousand words, especially if you're writing a book. And what you what we had to do with ChatGPT three point five is then we had to just keep on repriming. We had to keep on re-entering those specific instructions of, of style, tone, um, and everything else. So. What really excited me when it came to ChatGPT4 was now it's got a much larger context window so we can look back a lot further. Now, some people saying it's only gone up to um, like 8,000 words or, or something like that. Others are saying that it's gone up to 25,000 words. Well, I'm sort of leaning towards the fact that it's 25,000 words that it can actually hold in its context window. And I'm going to show you why I've come to that conclusion. So if I come to my where I've been generating my text, and I'll come all the way up to the top, right? This is basically the content generation for what I'm writing here. And then, so it's got some massive stuff in here. Right, so here, this is where I'm teaching it to to follow my my tone and style, right? So all that sort of stuff. And I've come through, and I'll cover this in the actual training. So when I come through later in the week and start doing the training from Woe to Go on, on how to drive ChatGPT for writing your books, what I've done is I've actually named this style. Okay, so I've, I've told it exactly how you know, what I want it to do. And then I just say, only use this style when prompted to respond in style of Tim, which means that if I don't want to use style of Tim, if, if I want to you know, produce some content that doesn't match this style, it will just still write in, in, in its standard chat GPT format. Okay. Now, just very quickly, I want to I want to show you something over here. Is at the moment the menu script here is sitting at 15,284 words. Okay, that's the raw, that's the raw menu script. Okay. So you can say at a minimum the responses from chat gpt is 15,284 words okay that's not including prompts like this all the other instructions that i've given it earlier on it's not it's not including the times that when i make a change to the outline that i re-input that outline into chat gpt4 so i say okay chat gpt4 Here's the updated outline for this chapter. So the, the chapters get re-entered a lot. So as you know, there'd have to be at a minimum you know, 20,000 words in this, in this output, in the combination between ChatGPT's output and my prompts. Okay, it's going on and on and on, right? And now if I come right down the very bottom and I say, and I'm still coming down to the bottom, and I say, do you still remember the style of Tim? It says, yes, I, I remember you requested me to write in the style of Tim. 
right? This would not have happened in chat GPT 3.5. So it was at least 20,000 words sitting in its context window, it still knows. Now, the other reason why I think this is, is exciting is that currently in my prompts, I'm telling it, do not repeat any previous points, okay? So I'm, I'm, I'm instructing it not to repeat itself. Now, I'm, I don't know whether that is working because I haven't gone through the editing process, but because it can look back at what it's already written, for so long, no, so far, I think you're going to find the overall content just to be, well, it is, like the, the content is far superior to 3.5, but I'm talking when it comes to editing, I don't think you're, guess, you're going to be chopping out huge blocks of repetition anymore. It's it's going to be, be on point and it's going to be looking absolutely amazing. Okay, so that is the video that I wanted to share with you yesterday and ChatGPT was was broken. I look forward to coming back later in the week. I'll probably start doing these videos, uh, the, the training videos tomorrow that take you through the process that I'm refining to you know, produce you know, the good content and then the additional steps that, that I'm taking now to ensure that it's just going to be an A1 top quality book just by slowing down, doing it right and making it great. So until next time, happy writing.